It's been confirmed, the Golden Boy 2018 award will be announced on the 6th of January 2018. Mbappe, Dembele and Lucas Silva are the nominees. As you would have seen in the previous episode, right now Mbappe is the clear favourite to lift the award with Lucas Silva having an outside chance. But with about a month remaining, anything can happen and let's hope Lucas Silva can pick up the Golden Boy 2018 award. But hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another episode of the My Player Career Mode series. The support continues to be insane on this series. You guys smashed out 500 likes once again. It'd be absolutely incredible if you guys can do that once again and smash out 500 likes and if you guys are new around here watching my content for the first time make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 18 career mode content also if you're interested I've been talking a bit about how FIFA 19 is and just describing my experience playing FIFA 19 the beta version of course if you guys want inside info on that make sure to follow me on Twitter links will be in the description below as we start things off against Nastic aside I reckon we should be able to win in La Liga right now, things aren't really looking great for us as we of course are aspiring to be champions and right now we are far from that. So let's hope we can get back to, you know, winning games consistently, starting with this one against Nastic. As Ben Yedder takes a fabulous free kick and he hits the crossbar. Lucas Silva, of course, earned that free kick. Also, while the game is going on, just wanted to talk about why I'm not uploading anything else apart from the My Player Career Mode. Um, right now, I've got access to the FIFA 19 beta. I did talk about it in the previous episode. And lately, I've just been recording a lot of videos on the beta. Of course, I'm not allowed to upload that until like a couple of weeks before the release. But I just wanted to get ahead on content for FIFA 19 so that you guys can enjoy daily FIFA 19 content once I'm allowed to actually upload those uh, videos and all. So, yeah, I'm just recording a lot of FIFA 19 stuff and that's taking a lot of my time. So, for now, until August 20th, I'm going to be just uploading the My Player Career Mode every other day. And after that, potentially, maybe My Player Career Mode every day for you guys. So, just letting you guys know about that. So, we scored a fabulous goal against Nastic. Some great link-up play. Lucas Silva with a key pass for that goal. And now putting in a cross here in the 52nd minute. But Jesus Navas with the header. And when Jesus Navas is going in for a header, you know he's not going to score no matter what. So there you go. Still 1-0. But here's Lucas Silva on the attack. 57th minute of this game. Creates space. Brilliantly done with the drag back. And then finds Zivkovic who scores his second of the game. Honestly, what a signing Zivkovic has turned out to be for Sevilla. Maybe he can help us win the trophy we've been wanting to win in this season. Because he seems like a very good player. Wearing the number 7 as well. Another assist for Lucas Silva. Now taking his tally up to 6 assists. For this season, he really has a shot at winning the Golden Boy Award. So far in the history of the Golden Boy Award, never has a defender ever won the award. So it's up for Lucas to, you know, create history as a chance now for Nastic. We do not want them to score. A mistake from Lucas initially to give the ball away. In fact, it was Nzonzi who did so, but ultimately it was Lucas's fault for putting him in that position. And Nastic do get one back. Thankfully, that was it for this one. And we do get all three points from this game. Fabulous game, though, from Lucas Silva. Gets himself actually an 8.3. A great assist as well. These kind of performances will certainly help his cause for the Golden Boy Award. 8.3 match rating, as I said. And an assist. Couple of key passes as well. Not bad. Defensively, he did not really have much to do in this game. Well, I guess we know why. Because it was nasty. It's not really a tough side. So, decent performance there from Lucas Silva. Surprisingly, the manager actually after the game praises Lucas Silva about his defensive play. Which is definitely nice to see. Although Lucas hasn't been that great defensively. I guess the fact that he's such a threat going forward, teams really don't attack from the left side, you know, because Lucas Silva obviously can just win the ball back and then bomb forward, so maybe that's the reason. Regardless, a lot of clean sheets for Sevilla lately, but a lot of praise for Andrija Zivkovic, who has been just brilliant for Sevilla. I mean, I did not expect him to have this kind of impact. He's practically just benched Vasquez from the team with these kind of performances that he's been putting in, so that's nice to see. Took a bit of a break from this Champions League game against PSV. Reason being, we've got a lot of games coming up and some tough games, including a game against Real Madrid in this episode itself. A chance to maybe meet Marcelo. So just taking a bit of a break, resting up and getting fit for the insane amount of games we've got upcoming. We do get the win against PSV, so everything is fine. Now we've got an even more difficult game against Espanyol in La Liga, who are actually fourth in the league. They're five points behind us, but if we've got to keep pace with the likes of Barca and Atleti, 
we've got to try and get the result here away from home against RCD Espanyol. Lucas, of course, starting this one as the left back. Let's hope he can deliver again yet another fabulous performance because getting a win here would be brilliant because we'll put a lot of pressure then on the top two teams in the league now a chance though for espanol they've started the game really well here's sarabia we know he's a really good player but lucas silva puts in a solid challenge again doing some defensive work and he needs to because espanol aren't just going to sit back and defend now lucas silva on the ball deep a foul from one of the espanol players but lucas finds ben Yedda back now to lucas silva brilliantly done to find ben Yedda. some really nice link up play between the frenchmen and the Brazilian unfortunately didn't really lead to anything as now Sarabia on the ball but Lucas Silva did really well there to win the ball off him great defending in this game from Lucas which is nice to see you guys have been really criticizing Lucas for his lack of defensive ability there of course he's showcasing exactly that as Vasquez has a great opportunity to put Sevilla into the lead but for some reason his shot was just embarrassing as Leo Baptista somehow managed to evade Lucas Silva and then Silva just ran past the ball I don't know what he was doing and hence Leo Baptista found the space and managed to score that was definitely on Lucas because I don't know what Lucas was doing there Espanyol have taken the lead courtesy of a brilliant strike of Leo Baptista but the game isn't done yet Lucas now charging forward to create something finds Vasquez who is playing this one instead of Zivkovic but that is one of the worst dives I have seen in career mode I mean what even was Vasquez thinking that was just awful from him as Lucas does win the ball in a dangerous position and now it's Ben Yedder who finds Vasquez what's Vasquez doing fake shot back to Lucas what a chance for Lucas he takes it wide and kind of ruins the chance and it's still 1-0 to Espanyol time is running out and now in the 77th minute we could see a chance for an opponent cross played in to Jurado and Jurado does give Espanyol a 2-0 lead it looks like we will be getting ourselves another defeat in, of course, La Liga. And you know what? I can't really complain because that was a beautiful header. Probably one of the best headers I've conceded in a FIFA 18. Just, it, it was just brilliant. 2-0, Espanyol. That's how it is. Sometimes you lose in football and unfortunately it had to come in a moment like this. Again, t t you know what? That was one of Lucas's worst performances in recent times. I mean, defensively, he couldn't really do much. I mean, yes, in the first half he was good, but in the second half... He was caught slacking and it wasn't really Lucas Silva's game. But let's hope Lucas can keep this one behind and focus on the upcoming fixture against Real Madrid who are also trying to get into the top six. I have no idea how Real Madrid are not performing this well in this series. Ronaldo is still at Real Madrid and still they aren't performing. But anyways, most importantly, Barcelona have won their next game which means they've got now a five-point advantage over us which isn't good news. We've got Real Madrid at the weekend, so not risking myself playing this one against Valencia. Thankfully, the team does get the win, so we do progress on to the round of 16 of the Copa del Rey or the Spanish Cup. But guess what? Who we've drawn? We have drawn Sevilla. Imagine having the luck to draw Valencia in the round of 32 and then drawing Barcelona in the round of 16. Hopefully, we can get past Barca, man, because I want to win at least one trophy with Sevilla, because you guys know this is Lucas Silva's final year at, of course, Sevilla. So, leaving Sevilla with a trophy would be immense. As now, Lucas Silva and his Sevilla side have a huge challenge against Real Madrid. With defeat in our previous game, getting a solid result against Real Madrid is absolutely crucial, and this is the moment Lucas was waiting for. Of course, Lucas has faced off against Real Madrid before, but that time he was comparatively an unknown player, so none of the Madrid players recognized him, but this time he got a hug from Marcelo during, of course, the handshakes and all. So just shows that Marcelo now does respect Lucas Silva, which I feel is massive, especially for someone like Lucas, who's actually idolized Marcelo throughout the course of his career. As a massive chance falls to Jesus Navas, and you've got to be taking chances like that. I have no idea what Navas was doing there. Oh man, what a chance wasted. I mean, that was so close to going in. Jesus Navas' left foot is practically non-existent, man. Why does he even take shots from that? As a chance now for Cristiano Ronaldo, brilliantly finds Gareth Bale. Sergio Rico comes to the rescue with this save, but Lucas Silva there couldn't handle Gareth Bale's movement. Still Gareth Bale on the ball, finds Cruz. Cruz now to Benzema who gets the shots off, hits the post and from the rebound, Sergio Rico does it. It's been such an intense start in this one. Lucas Silva sliding in and to keep Gareth Bale from cutting inside. Scoreline still nil-nil, but Lucas Silva has just had no opportunity to push forward in this game. It's been all Real Madrid. Modric now trying to play Bale in behind. 
Great show of pace from Lucas Silva and even strength to keep hold of Gareth Bale and of course winning the ball back. It's been such an intense game of football. As I was saying about Marcelo, Lucas has idolised him since the start of his career and he also wears the number 12 in honour of Marcelo. So for him to be playing on the same pitch as him, massive moment for Lucas. Let's hope it can turn out to be a good one as Lucas Silva chasing back. He has to keep Gareth Bale from, you know, getting hold of the ball there. Does really well to intercept and he plays it back to the keeper. Thankfully, Sergio Rico is pretty good with his feet, keeps the ball away. But now Lucas out of position, Gareth Bale on the attack. Puts in a cross, Benzema heads it down to Cristiano Ronaldo who shoots, Sergio Rico makes the save, you expect a bit better there from Ronaldo, now Benzema finds of course Cristiano Ronaldo, Lucas ain't letting him go further because of course it would have been dangerous to do so and Lucas takes one for the team, he has been doing that a lot lately because he knows what's at stake here, loss here against Real Madrid could be disastrous for Sevilla. A bit of beef there between Cristiano Ronaldo and Lucas Silva as Lucas pretty much just went charging in knowing that he was going to get booked for that but brilliant work rate and work ethic from Lucas Silva showing that he can also battle it out. He's not just the attacking full magnet people perceive him to be. Great performance from Lucas defensively. He had four tackles. That's the highest amount of tackles Lucas has had in this series in a single game and it's come against a team like Real Madrid. Lucas is certainly doing whatever he can to get his hands on that golden boy trophy. But anyways, this is the moment you guys have been waiting for. Post-match, it was Marcelo who was talking about Lucas, talking about how amazed he was by Lucas Silva and how he doesn't see him as a rival. Instead, he sees him as a strong compatriot. Well, that settles it, I guess. I hope after that now Tite will bring Lucas Silva to the Brazilian national team. Marcelo is happy with it and wants Lucas to be in the team. Just shows the mutual respect both have for each other. So a great episode for Lucas Silva as he's of course performed pretty well. Just that one game where things didn't go his way. Apart from that getting a praise from Marcelo is massive. And that's where we're going to be ending off today's episode. Next episode more action. Lucas now 83 rated. We'll have more Champions League action in the next episode. So hope you guys are excited for that. Drop a like if you guys are. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you guys very soon with another episode of this series.